I'm Gail Anderson in Los Angeles. Look at this stuff, fire protection gel. There's been a lot of talk about it in the wake of our recent brush fires, but does this stuff really work? That's his finger and a torch. We'll find out in a live report. All right, we talked about this uh, a couple of weeks ago. It saved lives and homes in the firestorms. Yeah, Gail is live with a revolutionary science for firefighters this morning. Hey, Gail. Hey, Gail. Yeah, Carlos, uh, this is all your fault because we were covering the brush fires and you talked about uh, fire gel, so we decided to do a little research. For those of you who missed that little conversation, let me refresh your memory. Take a look and listen at this. Now, behind me is the Cliffhanger restaurant, and Carlos has been talking about that, how he heard they just covered that in a goo. And yes, we can show you a live picture of the Cliffhanger. It's been closed uh, for about a year. One resident here tells that, me, but uh, yes, it is that, still standing. Yes, that, that was our report, um, and we wanted to find out, well, what are these gels? Let me show you some information we found in our research here. We found that there are a number of these fire gels, among them uh, Barricade, something called Hydrax, something else called E112 No Char, interesting name, Thermal Gel 2000L Fire Cape, FP47. And uh, we wanted to find out, well, well, what is it? And that's why I have these diapers. I'm here with firefighter Nathan Bieber. He's out here from Apple Valley because he's with Barricade. Uh, one of the differences I've learned in talking with him about this is that Barricade, now that's the gel on the wall there. It's different it because it does this. Look how thick this is. It sticks to your finger. And I guess, uh, firefighter, you were telling me, uh, Bieber, that uh, some of the other gels don't stick. Um, and this is what you want. That's correct. Uh, this gel right here, barricade fire blocking gel, can be applied to the buildings, can be applied to the eaves. As, as you can see underneath the eaves, there's yeah. nothing dripping off, and that's what we want. Uh, right. the, the other fire gels and foams are real runny, and that's what we're trying to get away from. All right, as you replace that for me, let me show you some, um, an animation here of how this works. It's made from diapers. Remember, Carlos, you talked about diapers? And these little, we take them one apart here, these are... Uh, diapers and it's this stuff that is in the gel. That's correct. These are uh, polymers and they're, when they're touched by a fluid they turn in and And we'll show you the ad animation that shows how that how that works where the polymers build up and the water hits it and it absorbs that's the water. Correct. Is that right? And creates that, a cushion. That's correct. And that's the exact same thing that's going on here with the structure with the barricade fire gel. All right. Now let me show you something else. Now they've, they've done some demonstrations with this. Here's where they have uh, used the gel on a Christmas tree. And you know this time of year that can be a problem uh, because trees just go up so, so rapidly. On your left is the tree that's sprayed with his product, the barricade gel. Um, on the right, the tree that's not sprayed. And any of you who've seen the stories we've done on Christmas fires and whatnot, you see how quickly that tree has gone up, but the one on the left. That's correct. And on the tree on the left, you can see where the fire goes into the tree and to the right. That's the fire creating its own weather and sucking it into the tree Just that's like not Just like the protected. brush fires. That's All correct. right, now let's see if this works here. Now we've seen that on the tape. You've sprayed the left side of this wall with um, water, right side with uh, the gel. I'm going to back up here. How much fire are you going to put on this? We're going to put uh, 3,500 degrees on okay. it. Okay. So he's That's going to... That's about two and a half times the amount of a wildfire. Two and a half times the what? Of what a wildfire creates. Okay. Well, now we don't need to touch anything, do we? No. Now, you know, the interesting thing is I hear a noise, kind of like the noise I heard during the brush fires. Of course, that's probably the part of the plumbing here, but that, that same kind of ratio. Now, how long can a fire burn on this gel before the gel loses its... Oh, I see it burning through something on the left already. Before uh, it loses its effectiveness. Uh, the gel on the right can last up to 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, wildfires 10 to 15 range. minutes. That's correct. Fire, wildfires range between 1,000 and don't exceed 2,000 degrees. This is 3,500 degrees. Uh-huh. And you can see on the left side, that's protected only with water. It's not doing very well. And the side on the right, protected with barricade. The other thing I've learned in uh, working on this, outside of the fact that uh, you know Barricade is one of several companies that does this, is that the LA City Fire Department has had this gel on their trucks for the past five years. That's correct. How did that work out? Did they uh, see a demonstration like this and think this will work for us uh, in the department? And it's not just to protect Dale? people, it's to protect the firefighters. Yes, Carlos. Dale, I have a question. How, how much would it cost to uh, cover a, a typical mountain cabin uh, in something like this to protect your cabin? Um, a typical cabin house up in the mountains usually takes uh, about 12 jugs, so it can range between $500 and $1,000. Uh, usually it, yeah. 10, wow. about 10 to 15 gallons. Now, how, what about the, the part of the problem in a, in a, in a firestorm, of course, is the, is the spontaneous combustion that just the heat itself will blow a house up. Does that help from the, uh. as far as the heat is concerned? Mm. Yes, this barricade fire gel is designed to stop radiant heat flame impingement, 
and flying embers. It stops embers. raining and heat. Yes, wow. and also prevents smoke damage to the house. It seals the house really? and prevents smoke going through the house. Very quickly, um, how do you get it off and how environmentally safe is it? Uh, it's non-toxic, it's non-corrosive, and it's biodegradable. And all you have to do is rinse it off with the garden hose when you're done. After you come back, after the homeowner is evacuated, they can come back and just rinse it off with the garden hose. Where do you buy it and how do you apply it? Well, they can get, well, there are a number of places. We'll put that information on the screen. Thank you. Uh, again, they have, a, they have a website, a phone number. Uh, that's uh, the two phone numbers locally as well as nationally. And uh, what was the other part of that question, Mark? Uh, he answered it. Thank you. Okay. But uh, there you go. It's still, uh, the right side is still uh, okay. That is amazing. You know, absolutely. that is amazing absolutely stuff. amazing. Well, I'm absolutely. glad we were able to bring that uh, information to you. And they did, of course, save that restaurant uh, in uh, the fire never did get close enough, but they completely covered it and were ready for it when it came.